Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. I want to talk about uh, uh, how a boy becomes a man. And uh, I want to kind of make it so people understand how their actions towards the males means so much. And uh, uh, some, I tell you, there, there's well, the first thing is there's no age from a boy to a man. There is no age. Uh, some boys and some men, uh, adults never become a man. They'll stay a male, but uh, they won't become a man. And the thing is, to be a man, you need to grow up. And not everything, uh, all situations, are going to help you uh, grow up. Uh, I've noticed uh, the culture down here in Central America. Uh, and one thing, I've been having a hell of a time trying to find a woman. I thought I was going to get one down here, but I'm not. And uh, the main reason is uh, the women don't want their boys to become men. That's why, in general, the men down here aren't really grown up yet. Uh, and that's why it's hard to find uh, good husbands and stuff down here. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a cultural thing, but it's not like what people think. It's a cultural thing because, uh, like I say, they, they're not, they don't take responsibility. Uh, the, the ones with money, it's in the family, and they, uh, that's where they get the money. So you have the rich and you have the poor. And uh, the reason you have that is because, like I say, the, the, the ones that were born into money, they, they have money. The ones that weren't, they don't have the motivation to grow up, take responsibility, and uh, do what they have to do. And now, some people are forced to grow up, or some, some uh, men are forced to grow up because of the circumstances that happen to them. Now, when they get to that point, uh, they don't always uh, master the part of taking personal responsibility. They don't always do that. That's when you get gangs, they get into gangs and they uh, uh, they feel like uh, society owes them something and th this type of stuff. Uh, we talked about that on, uh, on uh, another video where they, they think that they're owed, something is owed to them. Instead of taking the personal responsibility, growing up, becoming a man, taking on the challenges in life. Uh, so, what I'm saying is you, and I'll tell you, the kids down here, uh, the street street children, uh, the children that they go to the United States and they, and they the, we feel sorry for those children. Those children are tough as hell. Uh, those children are grown up. They are men. Those small boys, those are men. They're just small men. They've had to take responsibility. They were forced to grow up. Uh, yes, I know we, we want our children to have a happy childhood. That's nice. Uh, but that's where they say uh, the difference between uh, men and boys, the price of their toys. 
Uh, so, in other words, it's not the age of the kid. And it is the maturity. But they get that maturity through taking on responsibility, taking personal responsibility. We talked about that on uh, giving your word. Now, how often do you ask a young boy to give his word and then you hold him to it? See, these are the things that makes him a man. These are the things that will make him strong. And these are the things we try to protect him from. I don't understand that. I didn't come from that, that kind of a world. Uh, it's funny because my wife and I, probably our biggest arguments were over the kids, uh, raising the kids. Uh, we were Chinese, so we shared the Chinese type thinking about raising the kids. But we did have some problems, and that's now I see why. Uh, because like I say it is kind of kind of weird down here. They don't want them to grow up. So, uh, and like I say the ones that were forced into it, they don't have the proper guidance to do it properly. And uh, as much as we would make fun of the TV shows in the in the fifties. You know, Father Knows Best, you know, and, and uh, that type of stuff. Uh, make fun of that. At least they had something to look forward to. This is what they could set their, their dreams on. Uh, their thoughts of, of what, what life could be. Uh, there was something there. Now, I see stuff and uh, on TV, it makes in the movies, they make the men look like idiots. They're, they're stupid as hell. They're, uh, they're uncoordinated. Luckily, there was a woman there to beat the hell out of somebody to protect the man. You know, what I mean, these are the type of things you want your boys to grow up and be good men, and this is the kind of crap that they're surrounded with. This is a sad state of affair we're in. And no one seems to be speaking up on it. No one seems to be standing up for what's right. And we need to. All of us men need to. And all of these women need to expect this from men. And you sure the hell need to expect it from your man. But you're only going to get it when you treat him like a man. I say, I've made a video on it before too, on be what you want to be, be it now. Start now being what you want to be. In other words, if you want to be good, if you want to be great, act that part now. What, are you waiting for some kind of a, a signpost on the side of the road? It's going to say, okay, you've reached it, your greatness now? No. You're not going to get it. So that's why you need to start doing it now. You start acting the part now. You want to be a man, act like a man now. These boys, let them take responsibility now. If they're chore, they're, do, they're responsibilities to take the trash out, cut the grass or whatever, make sure they do it now. These are steps they take to become a man. If you want your boy to be a man, treat him like a man now. If you want your man to act like a man, you treat him like a man now. There's no point where he's just going to all of a sudden turn into a man. No. The time is now. 
expect him to do it right now. This is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.